Hello to all of you. My name is Maria Kunjelska and this is Poland Daily Culture. And again, we take you for a journey through the mind of a painter, an artist, and the daily life of a painter. With us is Róża Pozynowska. Thank you very much for coming. Hi. Róża, as we mentioned, you just uh, you came to us from India, Italy, actually, even though you're Polish. And uh, you had also some of the base of your education in Poland, in the Polish Academy of Fine Arts. And later on, after studying in New York, you also made your first I mean, steps in, in a career, in an artistic career, in the um, National Opera House uh, in Warsaw as a costume designer or as a costume painter or something I would like. say costume painter, yes. So you tell us a little bit difference about it, because if I get confused, <laughs> definitely most of our viewers get confused. Well, costume painter is a person that uh, works um, with the cooperation with the costume designer. So the costume designer comes up with the idea for the costume and you are the person to make pattern, to paint on the, the um, material. So I was the one that was painting, for example, flowers like you're wearing, right? And then another team of people were making costume out of it. Uh, so I was uh, one of three people three ladies that were in the costume depart department in Warsaw Opera House and um, I spent my beautiful three years over there and uh, it was magical but also very demanding but it started with um, studying after Academy uh, at um, International School of Costume and Fashion Design in Warsaw uh, and it demanded uh, that I have to do some practice somewhere. And I said, okay, if practice only in the opera house, because I love opera, I love ballet. So that was for me. And I stayed there, <laughs> stayed there for three years. So I helped, for example, uh, to do the full reconstruction of costumes uh, in 2011, 2012 uh, costumes for the Rite of Spring um, that were made by Millicent Hudson and Kenneth Archer. Um, amazing couple of uh, costume uh, designer and uh, dancer and oh, th they are just everything. It's, it's like you're talking about uh, Leonardo da Vinci, <laughs> human orchestra, you'd say. So I helped them to recreate um, samples of colors, like we had samples like this, um, for the costumes. So. Uh, under supervision of my boss and another lady from uh, this workshop, we created costumes that you could see 100 years ago on the stage in Champs-Élysées in Paris. Wow. Uh, yeah, in 1913. So uh, that's how I started to um, fall in love with uh, the Rite of Spring. And um, after that, I finished painting 14 huge paintings uh, for celebration. And uh, that um, had this culmination as an exhibition in the Opera House. One art inspires another exactly. art. Exactly. And that it takes you somewhere. But uh, talking about painting a costume, uh, painting a, a costume and a uh, to dress or something, is it, um, it, it needs to be also a different way of doing it. It's so different paint, different way of doing it, yes. It, it dries differently, but also how would you do with that? Uh, well, normal our clothes are usually not painted this way. <laughs> mm, so uh, uh, are they are they just just for for the opera house or for the um, for the exhibition, can they wash them later? Exactly. Like, what's I mean, happening? Ballet wears them, so you have to wash it, right? After all this uh, one hour or an hour and a half on the stage under the lights, it's, it's um, yeah, the paint is very demanding. Um, you have to sort of use different paint. It's not the same that you go to the shop and you buy. It, it's a print. It's not um, painted on the um, actual material. Um, in the theater, it's like this. You have a brush, you have a paint that is mostly acrylic, and um, you have to secure it by um, sort of baking it in a special oven. You have an oven that goes up to 230 to 160 Celsius, and it helps to preserve it. I see. Then you can wash it. Sometimes, maybe after, I don't know, 100 washes, it fades, but it's normal. 
And then you have people like me and two other ladies that sit there and paint again. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So, uh, so to what kind of, uh, for example, were there any particular costume which stayed in your mind as from uh, any uh, play or opera? Uh? Well, it's, um, we painted a lot of things, a lot of amazing things, because when you work in a place like theater, you have to understand that you are part of a bigger organism. You are one percent of the whole work of art that you see at the end. So um, I worked for the ballets, I, I um, helped to paint shoes for the operas, uh, or um, corsets like Rococo corsets for a Cinderella, let's say, uh, on the stage. So I don't know if any particular one, maybe for the Flying Dutchman, I think it was a um, piece um, by Trelinski and Kudlicka, uh, and um, we had to paint six zombie costumes, like overall uh, costume that looked like, um, you know, rotting body. That was really hard <laughs> to do, but we had to paint everything hand by hand on the mannequin and then try it with, um, with a person, with an extra that was trying to wear it, look how it works with the lights. Great work, really unforgettable. I think it was, three of us worked for like two weeks to finish one piece. Oh wow, this takes ages <laughs> and shows how much energy you needed to have to, to finish it. Yeah. And that's also a good punchline to remind all of you, the viewers of Poland Daily, whenever you go to an opera house, uh, and to see a ballet or opera, then there is a huge theme uh, behind the show. Not only what we see on the on the stage, but everyone who worked backstage on details such as costumes and the choreography. So uh, it's a full orchestra actually of artists who worked on it. So always think about it as well to appreciate their work. And again, thank you very much for watching Pernan Daily Culture.